Hi guys, Patrick here from EngineeringShock.com and ElectronicLessons.com. Um, I was just down in my lab puttering around tonight. I've never actually made a wireless charging circuit from scratch before. I implemented some of uh, some already made units in some of my kits, but I figured I would try my hand in making a very, 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 very basic and inefficient one. And when I say inefficient, this is the epitome of inefficiency. <laughs> It's uh, it's uh, it's a very it's a very Mickey Mouse circuit. Uh, it's got a five 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 time for timer oscillators uh, pulsing at six hundred uh, six hundred kilohertz uh, kilohertz uh, duty cycle of roughly fifty percent roughly. <coughs> now I'm admitting firsthand that I've never really tried to, to tinker with with this uh, technology before. Uh, I'm gonna I find it interesting. I'll be putting or puttering around with it uh, more in the future. Uh, but anyway, so the uh, output of the 555 timer pulses a, uh, a FET, which drains power through the transmitter coil, which is matched to the receiver coil. They're just some, uh, some coils that I found around the, uh, around the lab. Uh, I don't know the inductance of the coils, hence the in uh, epitome of inefficiency. Um, and uh, I, I experimented between... <coughs> excuse me. 100 kilohertz and 600 kilohertz, and I, I found that for these specific coils, that that was the best frequency I, I could. Uh, the, I got the best response with that specific frequency. Anyway, in the receiver coil, I've got a bridge rectifier to turn the AC signal into DC, but it's not really DC until you put a nice big fat cap on the output. Um, and then, uh, so the, the cap basically acts to, there's no filtering cap, there's no decoupling cap, I suppose you can call this a filtering cap, it basically just stores all of the energy temporarily, but the, uh, that energy is also um, uh, expended through a 470 ohm resistor through to this LED. Now if you don't put this uh, capacitor on it, what happens is, is you still get the positive DC DC, but it comes up in positive spikes that would damage the uh, the LED. You need to, for the capacitor there to basically fill up and discharge, fill up and discharge. Anyway, uh, I'll power it on to uh, 5 volts. Now, if you can see the LED, I'm not sure how well you can see the LED light up. What I might do is turn off this light. And uh, so the coil is about half a centimeter apart. The LED is brightest when they are facing each other. Now I know that um, charging coils, uh, index, um, wireless chargers, you want to have ferrite to, uh, behind each coil to, to, to direct the uh, to direct the uh, electromagnetic pulses. But I don't have those. I don't have that material in house, so I can actually put it really close. Now if I didn't have the current limiting resistor there, it would get extremely bright and burn out. Now it's very bright right now. I'm at about, let's say, 1.5 millimeters. Pull it back, and the LED obviously gets more and more dim until it's out completely at about one centimeter. Push it back in, about 0.70, uh, 0.5 centimeters, half, three quarters and about a millimeter. So there you go. Very, very, very inefficient circuit. Uh, what I should be doing right now <coughs> is heat, heat sinking the uh, the FET, but I got lazy about it. I just didn't want, I, I just wanted to throw the circuit together and try it out because it had in my mind all day. Basically, with, I'm going to turn it off. Basically, with a block diagram in mind of an oscillator, a FET to drive the, the power through the primary coil, uh, a 555 timer, obviously it's not it's not efficient, it's an RC timer, um, <clears throat> but it serves the purpose for a fun little circuit that really you guys can do as well at your, in, your, in your homes. Uh, I'll turn this light back on. So, oscillator drives a FET, which has the, the primary, uh, one side of the coil is connected to 5 volts, secondary to the, um, to the collector of, of the, uh, not collector, sorry, the uh, source of the uh, FET, 555 timer to the gate, and uh, drained ground. <coughs> Maybe I'm not gonna mix that up, but you get the picture if you know FETs. Think of it as a transistor. I've got the collector connected to the uh, wire in the coil. The other wire in the coil is connected to five volts. The base of the transistor is connected 
to uh, 555 timer oscillator and the emitter is connected to ground. So put it in, put it in, in terms of a transistor. I, I always get screwed up with, with FETs uh, in the uh, relative to drain and source. I always get it mixed up. And the receiver, I've got just two wires, one to uh, the ground that's created through the DC, uh, the, sorry, the bridge rectifier. Um, uh, if, it'd be easier to show you on paper, and I actually will be doing this because I'm going to start a bunch of tutorials soon. Anyway, bridge rectified. Um, after that, you get lots of, of D, positive DC spikes uh, smoothed out by that by that capacitor, and this energy that that is fed through the fed through there uh, runs through a 470 ohm resistor through to an LED. Now, if you have an oscilloscope. I imagine most of you don't, but some of you might. Makes things a lot easier just to get the circuit working. The circuit took me about <coughs> 20 minutes to kind of figure out and put together because it's very, it's really is, it's extremely simple. And I just plugged it all in. I didn't base it off a schematic. I just kind of threw it together. And luckily, after some trial and error, it did work. So it's it's off right now. That's why the LED isn't on. But the receiver circuit is extremely simple. But again. This is probably one of the most inefficient circuits I've ever created. All I really wanted to do with this was to achieve wireless transfer of energy. But I have many in my store that are much, 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 much better. So what I want to do is I want to kind of make this a bit more efficient. I don't imagine I, I have the, the, the components in-house to make this extremely efficient, but I'm sure I can do a heck of a lot better than what I've done right here. But I am happy because I do get transferred just under a centimeter. And at a millimeter, I get quite a nice transfer. I haven't done the short circuit current. Anyway, I'm blathering on. 5 volts powering the transmitter. At the receiver, you can get 5 volts at about half a centimeter or less. So, I mean, I just wanted to document it. Uh, I will be bringing this up again when I get my tutorials up and running. And trust me when I say that I do have tutorials come up, 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 upcoming. I've got a lot, uh, actually. Uh, I just have to find the time to sit down one afternoon or one evening and just go to town. So stay tuned for those videos. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Take care.